Hi. This is from the Food Force series from the Celebrate Your Waste collection here at the Sand Garden. The Food Force series is made possible by the work of Jordan, Hosea, and Malia Groom and their wonderful organization, Incredible Edibles. This clip is entitled Black Gold and it tells you about organic mushroom compost. Wow, this is nifty. What do you think, Jordan? Uh, very beautiful. It's called the black gold. Black gold, there it is. Whoa, get out of the way. Well, <laughs> we recovered from uh, that little misadventure. And now it's coming down the hill. 22 yards of it, one wheelbarrow at a time. Well, it took a few hours to get it in place, but when we did, here's what Jordan had to say about it. This is where a lot of the mushroom compost came. We dug out some boomerang swales on contour that are about two and a half feet deep to three feet deep on the high side, and all that was thrown out on the low side to make the berm and then covered with mushroom compost. So it's a water catchment containing system. We're going to plant fruit trees in here as well as a whole understory of uh, medicinals and uh, bee pollinator, insecticary kind of plant. A few days later, Jordan spoke to a few permaculture students at the Sand Garden. And here's what he had to say about it mushroom compost. The place was sand before and this is all mushroom compost which uh, is we call it black gold. It's got it's a pH of 8 I believe when it comes out of their place and it breaks down for another month before we even get it on site kind of thing and then within 24 hours usually when we spread it out like in a bed like this it cools down immediately you can water it a couple times and you're ready to plant. They don't use urea, so it's not heavy salt. All the myths that are told about mushroom compost, are, this mushroom compost is a totally different mushroom compost. We went on the internet and looked at some articles about some things, negative attitudes towards pure mushroom compost kind of thing, because oh, it's heavy salt, or you know, you're gonna burn your plants, or fungicides, or not organic, and that kind of stuff. Arms and. They're not allowed, the reason why we have this stuff is because they're not allowed to keep it on site and spray fungicides, herbicides, pesticides to keep the mushroom flies away because they are organic. They don't use any chemical based stuff. It's all been pasteurized. There's no E. coli. There's nothing uh, bad for you. You know, I work in the stuff barefoot. I'll get my hands in it. You know, you won't see a time when my hands aren't dirty. We wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for this. For sure. We can't recreate this. It's very difficult to recreate this. And this right here for me, I've been working with this stuff for over 25 years. The thing about this stuff is, is that this creates a whole new body of the organism on the earth. So every time we put this down, the earth says thank you. Because we're, we are feeding the earth again and not taking away that we have been so accustomed to doing. You know, it's, like Joni Mitchell said, you know, put up a parking lot, take away paradise in one of her songs. And that's what we continue to do. So every time this goes down, this creates that um, web of life, of microorganisms that live in this, that continue to feed the earth and then it spreads its, the, um, the fungi out in the layer system and keeps spreading, 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 spreading. So eventually in a couple years, you'll see the sand under here will not be like this anymore. This will go in and perme permeate all of this sand eventually. It may take a year, good rain, you know, a season or two. Or it, it can be spread out and then inoculated with a certain type of mushroom that is specified or has been designed. Like Paul Stamets is coming up with different uh, varieties of fungi that can come in and remediate oil spills or remediate different kinds of uh, pollution. Even that heavy stuff. metal. And that's another thing I want to bring up with this mushroom compost is why Mother Earth says thank you for whenever we spread this out or can feel that energy of life on her surface is 
we're actually increasing succession, the successional process by spreading this out because again, we wouldn't be here, we'd be head high in trash, tree litter, uh, organic matter if it was not for mushrooms. Mushrooms so, can save the world. They... I think you're right, Malaya. Mushrooms can save the world. Let's see what the uh, sand garden looked like just six weeks after that truck came up and dumped its load. You may conclude that you'd like to get a little black gold and put some in your garden. Hmm?